Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this is a tutorial video for the Radio Master Zero radio, which is the compact radio, there we go, which has, has a, full, a full set of trims on it. So we can use this radio for uh, fixed wings and I have flown with fixed wings with it and it's, it's perfectly fine. The trims are in exactly the right place. So this video is going to help you set up, we're going to use the basic model that to, we can set up. And then we're going to add to the parts that I feel you need to add to it to be able to fly your fixed wing aeroplanes. Now this includes adding an extra mix for a second aileron. So this model is a full, a full channel, a four channel model, but the ailerons are operated by two servos, one in each wing. So let's switch over to the overhead camera and have a look at the settings. Now the first thing we need to do is hit the model key, go down to a spare slot, push enter and say create a model. Now that's made a basic four channel model. Now I'm just going to switch back and show you the changes you need to make uh, to that model. So I'm selecting, I'm selecting my plane model. So if you're in the opening screen, you're going to hit the model key and then we're going to go across. Now in the setup, I've obviously give the model a name. I've done the uh, throttle the timer so that when the uh, motor is armed, the timer will run because we, this is basically for an electric motor, but of course you could use this for a gas engine as well. Uh, the persistent is off. I missed out that you need to select logical switch two here. So that means when you turn the radio off and turn it back on again, it will reset to six minutes. I've given a minute counter and countdown in beeps for the last 20 seconds. Okay, let's have a wee look down here. Shouldn't be anything here. Oh, let's have a look at here. For the S warnings, now I normally have my arm switch forward and then back for disarmed, which is not the default. If, it, if you change the uh, warnings or the, the defaults of your positions, all you need to do is go to S warnings and put the switches in the right place and click like that, the enter button, and you should be good. We've already done a video on um, binding your receivers to your radio, so we won't go through that now. Right, next. Right, this is the mode screen. If I come back out again, you'll see it's, when it's disarmed, it's showing me it's disarmed. So visually I can see it is. Um, and if I, with an electric motor, obviously that would be, be uh, handy to have. If I arm, it will now show we're, that we're, we're armed. If we had set up flight modes for our plane, we could also change this so that it will show the flight modes, but there are no flight modes for this. This is a basic model, so let's disarm. Okay, back into model, and we're gonna go across. I'm also gonna show you how to set up a safe throttle. Now, when we're using electric motors, uh, obviously with gas engine, if, in, until you start it up, the engine's not running, but with an electric motor, it's already connected to the battery. If you put the throttle forward, wham, off goes that prop, and it could chop your fingers off or do some all sorts of nasty damage. Now, I'm going to do a safe, uh, show you how to program a safe throttle. And what this means is that if your throttle is accidentally forward, and you, you arm your motor for your plane, nothing's going to happen. And even if you bring the throttle down and then momentarily bring it back up again, it still won't arm. You're going to have to drop the throttle for at least 0.5 of a second before it will actually arm. And I think this is something we, you should definitely do with any radio, um, where, however you do. Obviously, we're looking at an HTX radio. Uh, you must do this for safety reasons. So let's have a look at it. Now, to do the safe throttle, we need to go across the first thing we need to do is set up a curve. So I'm going to edit that curve. We're going to call it cut. We just change the number of points by clicking and changing. And then you're going to drag these points down. So let me just click on one. And you see we're bringing the points. They will always start in the middle. So you have to drag both points down. And that is your cut curve made up. That's all you need to do. This says five points, change it to two because it's quicker to actually be able to make the um, curve that you want. Now we're going to come out of there and we now need to go into logical switches. Now these two logical switches are for the safe throttle. So logical switch one, I'm just going to edit it. You are going to pick the function A is smaller than X where A 
is your throttle stick. It has to be that logo there, not the input, but the throttle stick. And then we're going to set up the X part of V2, which is minus 98. And that is everything on the first line. We return out of that. The second line, we are going to, fit the function is OR. We are going to select uh, parameter 1 is logical switch 1, parameter 2 is logical switch 2, and then our uh, arm switch in the forward position, as you can see. You can see now it's, it says that it's a logical, this logical switch is active, which, which means we, the throttle would work. Then we come down the bottom, we have to put a 2.5 second delay in. So let's come out of that. Okay, now we go back to the mixes. Oh, I've gone too far. So let's go to the, sorry, the inputs. Now, this is where we, we need to put the safe throttle in under inputs. Um, normally, you would just leave the inputs alone. You don't put uh, anything in there. You can put Expo in there. Uh, because that would then allow you to, um, it, th whatever mixes you did, the expo would follow over. But we will go into that at a later video. That's not part of this video. So we were going to add a line. Now, to add, when I added this line, all I did is push enter and I say insert after. And it will put a new line in. I'm going to come out of that. Now I'm going to edit the first line. And you can see there we've got input is throttle. We've got the source, and as you can see, it's the, thro the, the source, the gimbal, the stick itself, not the input. The weight is 100, and logical switch is logical switch LO2, logical switch 2. So that will be everything. We're coming back out. We're going to our second line that we added, and we're going to edit that. And you can see the uh, input is throttle, and the source has to be, again, the stick, not the input. The weight 100. Now we have to pick a custom curve. You might have to change this, and all you do is you click on there, and you'll be able to choose function or. You'll, but you're going to select custom. You're going to click on here, and you're going to pick the cut curve you already made. Then the important bit down here is you go to the switch, and this has to be the exclamation mark means not that that switch active. So, so this is not logical switch O2. Now that is everything for the safe throttle. And we will demonstrate that in just a moment. Now let's go on to mixes. And you can see all I did in mixes, these are channel one, two, three, and four are standard. The standard mixes, all we did is we copied that line, channel one to channel five. So one aileron will be on channel one and one aileron will be on channel five. Right, let's take a look at the, we'll go back to the beginning again and we'll just check through. And we've done the um, main page. We've done the armed and disarmed modes. We've gone through the inputs. We've looked at our mixes. The outputs, we do nothing. Cuts, uh, curves, we've already done. Logical switches, we've set up. The last thing is I've set up the timer, which I showed you at the beginning of this, um, when we started looking at the radio. You're going to have to set up a, a special function, which is this, the reset button, which mine is under here. Reset, reset. So you will select that button, you'll say reset timer one and activate it, mm -hmm. Check, click that box. The next one is playing the track reset. So I've got a, a, an audio um, alert that I actually reset it. So that again is the um, switch H, back but you can uh, I've been pressed but you can choose any switch you want to play track and then the track I selected will reset and then we've got our arm button there so we've switch E in the forward position play track armed and switch E in the back position play disarmed so you can Disarm there we go and that is it I've gone through the telemetry screen which is where we if, if we are using a telemetry enabled receiver we can say discover new sensors and we'll see the sensors and that is it you should have set up your four channel aeroplane now before i go i just want to take you back to the mixes now it's important here if you're a beginner you might not know this depending on the orientation of the servos within your model you may have to change these to a minus because you might find that your Control surfaces work the wrong way. So all you would need to do is click, enter, click edit, go down and change the weight 
to a minus. So, oops, too far. So now the servo will work the opposite way on the stick. So this, you need to be able to know about this so that if you have a problem, that you, your elevator goes down when it should be going up, you just go in there and adjust that. But I can't, obviously that depends on your model. I'm just going to reset this back to 100 plus 100. There we go, enter. Now let's just demonstrate uh, what I've done here. So we are going to push return and let me bring up the right window. Let's see what windows I've got here. No, I don't want any of those. Let's do Okay, I prefer this one. Okay, so you can see we have both of our aileron channels working. That would be uh, one and five, channel one and five. Channel two should be my elevator because I'm flying mode one. You may, yours might be different. And our rudder, because there are rudder working and our throttle. Right, our throttle isn't working, you can see, because we're not armed. Now, if I accidentally leave this uh, throttle forward and I arm, nothing's going to happen. Even though it said armed, nothing's going to happen. If I go down quickly, nothing's going to happen. But if I pull it down and wait, now my throttle's working. So that demonstrates the uh, safe throttle. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.